Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again. Here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my video breakdown or video review for the new Walking Dead teaser trailer for the second half of the Walking Dead Season 4. This one is called Don't Look Back. Carl, don't look back. Just keep walking. All right, cool. So finally, we get some new content for The Walking Dead from AMC. Uh, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can go check it out from AMC's actual uh, YouTube channel. They posted the video. It's only 31 seconds long. So even though they were saying on Facebook they were going to release like you know a new trailer, it's it's more of like a teaser and. Um, it's fairly dense with some new stuff. It doesn't have too much. I mean, a lot of it we've seen before. There's, you know, kind of the overall shots of the overview shots of the prison with all the walkers walking in. You've got um, a look at Michonne and she's there and, and a lot of the same type of stuff. Glenn waking up after, you know, we've seen this before in the other teasers for uh, New Year's. They released a bunch and, of course, at the end in the promo for um, too far gone when that ended but that said even though um, there is a lot of old stuff returning there is some new stuff too it's just kind of hard to see you might have to watch it actually I'm not kidding like four or five times to actually get the um, you know the, the little clips because it's so fast throughout this little teaser that there's all these little things that you see that you have to watch a few times to actually be like, oh, okay, okay, I see. So a few things to point out right away. The first thing and the biggest thing I think personally from this one is we get to see Tyrese quite a bit. There's a couple of clips of him, I think two or three quick flashes of him with his hammer, and you do not see Judith with him. So it, it maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't save Judith. Maybe when he was running through, even though it looked like he had his arms bent inward and he was doing one of these. If you guys have seen my um, Tyrese saved uh, Judith video, it looked that way to me. And even now when I look at it, it definitely looks like he's got her. But from these clips here, I don't see it. I don't see her there. I don't see her with him in, in his arms or anything or you know what where would she be who would be taking care of her are they just omitting it from the teaser did he give her to somebody else like the girls or I don't know to, to Carrie or Carol or something I don't know it's hard to say um, yeah very, very hard to say but it's not a good sign that he doesn't have her at all in any of the uh, the clips uh, either that or you would think if he did have her they just wouldn't um, they wouldn't show clips with him at all, you know, because there are certain characters that are not in, in this trailer at all, right? So maybe that means that he actually didn't save her. I'm hoping he did, and it looked like pretty conclusive to me in that video I did. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, check the channel. You'll see what I mean, uh, proof that uh, uh, Tyrese saved baby Judy. But maybe he didn't. Maybe I was wrong about that. I guess we'll see what happens with that. Um, that's That, for me, is the most exciting part right there. I want to see... Um, you know what happens with that whether or not he actually did did save her or not so that's one thing to take away from this uh, in addition to that we have let's see they say you've got Rick sort of narrating over the thing you know he's talking about number or the number one show on TV it says um, you know the, the whole don't look back thing and then at the end he says uh, we're survivors he also says things will never be the way they used to be or we'll never get things back to the way they were again that type of thing uh, maybe it seems that way for him at this time, but we, we do see later on if they follow the comic book series um, some different uh, communities that they're a part of, or at least at least one big community that hopefully we'll see in the TV series as well, which is kind of similar to the prison. Not exactly, but um, it's secure, it's fairly safe for the kids and stuff, and it is a bigger community. Um, so I'm excited to see that in the next couple seasons. Uh, let's see, you've got Beth crying, which is a new scene. Daryl kind of looks at her, he's kind of sad. You know, it's kind of cool because earlier on the season they were talking and she was saying how she doesn't cry anymore, you know, that type of thing. But then, you know, she hadn't lost her, you know, this is a big one, losing her father like that, losing Herschel. I mean, how could she not cry from that, even if she's got the whole we all got jobs to do thing, right? Um, so there's that. You also see Maggie and she's drawn out and she's all kind of uh, hazy-eyed, it seems. Don't know who she's with, don't know where. Uh, or what's going on with her, but there is at least a scene with her like that. So that, of course, should be a heavy concentration to see Beth and Maggie dealing with the loss of Herschel once they can actually, you know, relax after they run away from all the walkers that are chasing them and they can actually chill for a bit or try to sleep. So that'll be an interesting development to see. Uh, in addition to that, we have a scene really quick, talking about Maggie, talking about Glenn now. 
He's got the SWAT gear on, it looks like, when he wakes up, but he doesn't have the helmet on. There's a quick little flash in, the, in this teaser where I, you have him running, but he's got the mask down. At least I think it's him because he's got the, you know, the SWAT mask down. You can't see for sure. And he's running beside somebody else. Who that other person is, I don't know. It, it could be Tara or it could possibly be Maggie, but I, I think it looks more like Tara. Which is cool, because that'll be, that'll be interesting. Like, let's say Glenn got off the bus and he went back to look for Maggie or something, and instead he ran into her, like, you know, Tara, or, or if he did run into her. Uh, I have to maybe analyze that a little bit more, but it's so quick, it's, it's hard to say. I really have to take time to compare the clothing. Uh, but probably by the time you guys are watching this, I'll already have known. But uh, just to get the review up quickly, you know, to react or respond to the, uh, to the trailer, I can't say for sure. But if it is Lily or sorry if it is Tara that'd be really really cool because I want to see her return and see them do something with her as a character I think she's an interesting character and I, I like what happened with her in the mid-season finale how she just got totally spooked and was like oh man screw this and just took off or seemingly took off so I thought that was uh, thought that was cool and I want to see her return again um let's see in addition to that there's a lot of quick little clips we don't see Carol in this one at all I don't think uh there's no Carol in any of the clips Lots of Tyrese with the hammer. Uh, let's see, we're survivors. You've got Rick, who's got an axe, and he's hacking up a, a walker with him and Carl alone. Michonne's got some good clips of her just laying out bodies, like just, just laying out walkers one after another, and just the bodies just laying everywhere. So th those are really cool. I really like those a lot, those little clips. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I really have to say about it. It's a great little teaser. Um, and really, my only takeaway from it, I like I like the uh, you know the song. I see uh, the bad moon rising. This type of thing. Um, really, the only thing I take away from it is well, a couple things actually. But um, what we can decipher from it is, you know, Tyrese doesn't have Judith at the time in the trailer. So does someone else have her? I don't know. And uh, it looks like the groups are really going to be split up to really small splinter cell type. Uh, units where even Glenn will be with one other person, you know, uh, Rick and Carl, uh, Beth and uh, Daryl, uh, Maggie somewhere in there, and just everybody looks like they're split up all over the place. No signs of Bob or Sasha from this trailer I didn't see, and a uh, good amount of characters uh, missing uh, that should still be there, Carol, you know, the others. And uh, really, that, that's all I pretty much have to say about this trailer. It's a cool little clip. Let me know what you guys think. Let's start the speculation now. Let me know if you guys uh, have analyzed it. Is it Lily or is it Maggie who is running there? Or sorry, is it Tara? Is it Maggie who is running there at the um, in, in the middle of the trailer, roughly? Uh, let's talk about it. And uh, yeah, um, always fun to get new Walking Dead content. I hope this is just a start. I hope we get lots more new stuff uh, within the next, you know, of course, uh, three weeks before the show returns or so, roughly. Anyway, pretty much all I got to say about the trailer at this point. I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trev, and I'm saying peace.